Hi everyone. Um, today I want to talk to you about um, a wire sculpture project uh, we're going to be working on. Um, I am basically going to take this lovely aluminum wire. Um, you're going to laugh at me, but I buy this from a place called Farm and Fleet, and it's um, electrical fence wire. Um, they usually use it to keep the cows and the horses and things like that from um, leaving the fence, and they so I guess they take it and then they run an electric current through it and it zaps flies, but it also keeps the, the farm animals in. But I find it's it's a perfect gauge, meaning thickness of wire for what we do, and it's aluminum. Um, again, I buy it at Farm and Fleet in massive quantities. Um, sadly, there's no Farm and Fleet around here. And I also use this stuff. It is floral foam, very thin, gauged, and I believe this is probably steel wire that I'm holding here. And it's extremely thin, and it's it's very flexible. And I use this, you'll see, to kind of um, hold the other wire together. But before we even get started with the wire, basically what you want to do first is think about what it is you want to make. So um, I don't know why, but I'm thinking about a banana, um, maybe because that's what my daughter had as a snack for lunch. But anyway, so here's a pretty typical drawing of a banana. So that's the, you know, the outline of it. Don't laugh. And, you know, here's the top part. And of course, there's the um, stripes right there to kind of indicate, you know, contour on the banana. You know, pretty basic, simple banana drawing. It doesn't have to be anything amazing. So how do we make this out of wire? Well, um, I'm going to think about this is like the, the part, it's a rounded part. So for example, I'm going to have a round part right there and then I think I'm going to have another round part right here and, and, and it, it looks like I'm just going to keep if I create a wire frame from this keep adding wire round parts all the way down I don't need them to be right next to each other but if there's a like a major shift in the diameter of the ba banana I'm going to add that in so I think I'm going to have a couple of those okay so basically what I'm imagining is a bunch of rings running through here with wires connecting to those rings running down. It's not the most amazing drawing, but it, for our purposes, this is going to work quite well. So, first thing I want to show you how to do is you're going to need to make, um, well, if you make a sculpture like mine, and obviously you're going to play around with this, is you're going to make a ring like this. And what I've learned uh, from trial and error is the, the way I used to do this, and I no longer do it this way because it's it's not as pretty looking and it's quite inelegant as I would take the wire and I'd wrap it around and then I'd take this wire and wrap it around itself and it would be this huge mess and I just never liked the way that looked. So instead, by the way, if you're using the cutters, make sure you're using like this part of the cutter and you can see you can trim off the wire. So there's a part of the cutter obviously or the plier that's used to essentially shape the, the, the wire. Don't use your fingers for any of this and obviously don't bring this close to your eyes. You don't want to scratch your cornea or anything like that. Um, but you can take this wire and without even having to shape it with my fingers, because quite frankly, like that hurts a little bit, um, I'm just going to use the wire to do the work for me. And it doesn't have to be a perfect fit, but I want to try to get these, these, these wires as close together as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'll show you what I'm going to do in just a minute. So let's say that's, let's say I make a banana and that's going to be like this right here, right? That round ring right there. So what do we do now? Get some of this lovely wire here, the floral foam, and again, cut some off. I don't need a huge piece, maybe something like that long. Almost looks like a strand of hair. And I've learned that if you just start on one end, you kind of just pinch the wires together as you're going to make sure it's actually together, and then just wrap this around like so. It keeps it together quite well, and it, it pushes all these wires that are maybe not so together together so if like I have this hanging up so I'm going to kind of just pinch as I go and that's pretty simple now obviously like it doesn't have to be a, a ring but if you have a close shape like I could take this and obviously shape it into whatever I wanted it to be I'm just going to kind of wrap up all the loose ends here um, but wrap up all the loose ends, and I've got myself a, a ring that, that's pretty good. I mean, it does have a little bit of a, a sticky out area, but overall it's not bad. Um, and the wire, this wire, if it's wrapped together, it, it stays pretty well, so this isn't going to fall off on you or anything like that. 
Um, you could, you know, of course, take the wire, and I recommend not pinching it where you have the two, the two reinforced parts. But let's say, like, you wanted a, you know, a, uh, a different shape, or um, whatever. You can manipulate this to pretty much create whatever you want. I mean, this could be a square, a circle, a, a triangle, or in my case, a. I actually wanted it to be. A, uh, a round shape. Uh, you will notice that the more you bend this wire, um, the harder it becomes to work with it. Um, that is a technical term in metal something called work hardening it. This wire is what's called annealed right now. What annealed essentially means is that you have a whole bunch of molecules and they are all lined up like little soldiers like this. And so when you bend the wire, they all bend, it bends very easily. But what happens is the more you bend the wire, the more you're manipulating the molecules. So all of a sudden the molecules start looking like this, where they're all just kind of a touch of messed up. And it actually becomes, I have noticed, harder to bend the wire because it's now what's called work hardened. Um, that can be highly desirable in some situations, but for what we're doing, um, just keep that in mind that the more you manipulate this, the harder it's going to be to use. So just fast forwarding a little bit, as you can see, I've, I've created a couple rings here of, of varying sizes. Um, and what I've also done is I've taken a long piece of wire and I've made a ring, as you can see, but then I also just, instead of cutting it, I, I left a long tail on it. So that's, I want to talk a little bit about why I did that. If you think about, like imagine just for a second, this is, this is this part of the banana. And then I have a variety of different size rings. Let me kind of put them all together. And there's no like official plan here. I'm just kind of working with this. But I'm, I'm thinking about this in terms of size. So that looks pretty good. And obviously I might, I might choose to use this ring. I might not. I'm just going to leave it over here just in case. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to attach this at the end and, and, and officially make that my, my end ring. So a couple ways to do that. You can... This is the way I would do it, actually. I, I, I don't want this sticking out at the end, but I, I need to at least start attaching this. So I'm going to take a little bit of wire here and, and wrap this around um, right here. Wrap this around like that. And by the way, that, that noise in the background, that's my daughter having dinner right now and deciding to be a goofball. So... <laughs> um, <laughs> No, you can see I'm just going to take this and just keep wrapping it around. And obviously just get this so it's in one place. I really don't want to leave. <laughs> you goofball. I really don't want to leave um, uh, this. <laughs> Sylvia goes down. This like sticky alley wire here. So I'm actually going to take it and use your pliers when you do this. Sylvia, so, yeah, please go sit down, sweetheart. Because um, otherwise this is going to just hurt your fingers. But I kind of want to just... Let's see if I can do this. It's not so easy to do, actually. I'm gonna kind of just, there we go. To kind of tuck it underneath. And that just creates a much more stable place, and it prevents it from having a, an annoying wire that's sort of painful sticking out. Okay, so once I have that, um, pretty much what I'm going to do is take the rest of these rings here, and like if I decide to attach this one somewhere along this line, I can come up here and then take... Some extra wire. Yes, Sylvia. Good job. Okay, eat your dinner, sweetheart. Okay, take some extra wire, and I am just gonna kind of wrap this. Now, I'm not quite done, obviously, but I just want to show you one of these really quickly, and maybe I'll go a little bit this way now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> toast for dinner. Okay. And I think you get the idea. Obviously, it still slides a little bit, so I can decide where I want to put this in the final part. And I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of these. I'm going to add these rings in the same way, and that's going to become the structure of my banana. So you can imagine that like there's going to be different rings that along here, and that's going to basically create a three-dimensional wireframe for a banana as I as I keep going um, as I attach these on. Um, so that's the next part of this project. <laughs>